Oh, Maridon, don't worry. You'll be included in a battle soon enough. Hello, everyone. Fretter Metal here. I've, uh, I'm again back. I'm recording with Baseball Boy. Kirby. Got my poison types. Yes, I'm still running with this. Not the best idea. But, I mean, with so many Pokemon around... There's bound to be a way, right? Where there's a will, there's a way. And, uh, well, spoiler alert, you're kind of looking at that way, but we'll get to that later. Uh, right now I figured I'd give it another way to do something, but I couldn't really figure something out. But that's fine. <sighs> anyway, time for... Well, the gym leader I kind of feel is the most attractive, but it's also the most dangerous, I, I guess. Really kind of frustrating. You'll see, like, don't, don't, uh, do not underestimate psychic types. Do not. They will blow your mind how powerful they are. <sighs> okay. Uh, so... I'm checking the recording of the video game. I'm doing voice after voice over. I had two losing attempts here. But I think I really had four, but I'm not including all four, I guess. Just rather frustrating, but um, well, you'll see how it uh, how that pans out as we bring out <laughs> Gulpin. I mean, Swallow. I, I mean, I had to use this thing, right? Like Gulpin's a Violet exclusive. <laughs> I thought he could take a hit, do an amnesia. I don't know. I did not plan this. I, I should have known that Gardevoir was really powerful, but I I, I kind of I just underestimated because it did a critical hit on my Claude Sire, and the Claude Sire took it fine. Uh, and here we got a Gallade, so yeah, if you're bringing uh, like a Mabastiff against it, don't expect that to work. Sorry. Yeah, she does have a counter to ghost types too with their well her first Pokemon, as you know. And she will bring it out. Ferrigerath. Or Ferrigerath? It's maybe it's like, you know, kinda of like the opposite way. Anyway. Um I like Tulip's attitude and her pose. The makeup I'm not so fond of. Anyway, what I am fond of, of course, is Toxic Spikes. I mean, come on. I got the poison types. I gotta go for it. <laughs> Granted, they're not super helpful in this situation, but I, I don't really need them. Might not have really needed them, but I mean, I figured I'd use Glamora for something, right? Um, oh, it didn't use Toxic Spikes, but it has that ability that unleashes Toxic Spikes when hit. Which is, uh, really good. I guess, uh, you know, really, um, Gita should start with one of these, not end with it, right? Because then, if, I mean, let's say it comes out and, uh, you bulldoze it, right? And it's gone, but then brings out the spikes, and you're in trouble. Uh, anyway, um, I'm not in trouble here with Refrikins. Um, do I go for another? I kind of forget. Nah, I'm just going for it. Yeah, one's probably enough. Maybe? I have backup. Not very good backup. 
Well, it, it, well, Venomoth is pretty good. It also looks pretty cool too. Honestly, I've I've really grown grown fond of Venomoth. Like in the first games, at first I was like, "Ooh, this bug has gr uh, psychic moves. That's cool." And then I, I never really used it again after I was a kid. But now I'm using it, and it's really good. It's got that bug buzz. Got that psychic uh, special attack, uh, sludge wave maybe or something. Venom shock. It, ha it has that, but I don't really need it. Um, I mean, I could have used it here. Venom shock is uh, pretty good. I could have been. I could have brought this. I think in one of my attempts, I had my Rev of Room against this, but then I realized I can't do that, uh, well I could have done Shift Gear, I guess, because the Spathra doesn't really use physical attack. Well, it would have been faster anyway, because it would have been an opportunist. You know, we got opportunists all over the place, you know. I'm an opportunist. My uh, my opponent here is an opportunist. Meowskarada is an opportunist, uh, and I'm taking the opportunity to switch because I I felt like I should use something different, and really anything would be faster than the floor just right. Um. I'm not sure if Swalot is, though. It's a bit under-leveled. I'm not sure what Swalot is great at anyway. It does, like, stockpile spit up Swallow. Which is something. Odd choice there. But, uh, I made the odd choice of not giving this thing an attacking move. <laughs> oh man, so, uh, and it's slow, so instead of, um, instead of encoring charm, <laughs> I'm gonna encore this move. I mean, granted, Swallow's got that special defense, that HP to take it, but it's not gonna dish it out. This thing's slow as molasses. Can barely do that. I probably I should have gone for. I should have gone for sludge or anything. Any attack would have done. But oh well, that's, that's fine. Oh, I don't think I'm using quillfish here. Even though I kind of trained it up. Maybe I'll use it at some point. But really, it's kind of. Underwhelm oh, I do bring it out, but it's, well, as I said, it's underwhelming, because, um... Well, uh, oh, Florges is... I guess Florges is fast. It, it doesn't look fast. It is powerful, though. Oh, boy. Faster than a speeding quillfish. Stronger than... Or a tornado. But it is not faster than uh, than a Venomoth. I know that. Venomoth is fast. And with that, we win. Not as handily as I'd prefer, but at least I kind of showed off all my Pokemon. I might bring back Quillfish, but I... I don't see much point to it, and maybe, maybe more Toxic Spikes. It does have that move. That could be funny. <laughs> um, but, um, I just, I'm just underwhelmed by it. I should probably put some speed effort values onto that thing, and maybe then it'll be of some use. But for now, works out. Rev of Room, well, like many Steel-types, 
comes in handy. Steel, as you may know, as you can kind of tell, is my favorite type. Got all those defenses. It's pretty hard, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> 